What's up, Scentsy fans? It's Patricia, and welcome to another week of Tester Tuesday, a spot where I review two Scentsy scents with you each week based on my nose, my home, and my perception with the hopes that might help you decide if a scent's going to work for you or not. Last week, we had a lot of votes, 336, but stay tuned because this week at the end of this video, we will start voting on the new releases for the Fall and Winter Scentsy 2022 catalog. So let's talk about our first place for the week. It is Pixie. And this is a brick gifted to me by Sharon in the US, so thank you so much. When I first received this brick, it had four cubes missing and I've used two. So this is kind of like a dusty rose color. The interesting thing about this is it had the most percentage of votes, I believe, for a first place scent at 46%. So a lot of people wanted to hear about this. And it's a light scent on cold sniff, but we're gonna talk about that because it's a scent of the month from February 2012. So this is over 10 years old, this brick. It was also a Bring Back My Bar in Region 3, I believe about two years ago. So let's read the scent description. Sensi says, a mischievous moonscape of pink pepper, mandarin and heliotrope, deepened by exotic teakwood and vanilla oak. All right, so this is kind of a unique scent. What I did was, I don't know how Sharon got these bricks so perfectly uh, segmented, but she did. I popped this out so I could smell it. I can't stop smelling this scent. There's a memory of this scent for me that I cannot place, but this is a very unique scent and hard to describe. I'm gonna do my best. All right, so it's a little tiniest bit creamy. I can smell a little bit of citrus. I assume that's the mandarin. It's kind of sweet and exotic, and there's a little bit of a femininity to it but it's not really perfumey. It's kind of like a dusting of something. Maybe a dusting of <laughs> pixie dust. Okay, let's talk pink pepper. I looked it up. It's actually a dried berry. I knew it wasn't exactly a form of traditional pepper. It says it smells like sweet, fruity flavor, like a berry with an attitude. So I would say yes. Everything in this is very soft and muted. Heliotrope is a warm, delicate, powdery floral. It's mostly vanilla and marzipan kind of back notes. And I think the woodsiness that they're talking about with the teakwood and the vanilla, I believe that kind of mimics a gentle sandalwood. So kind of picture all that together. <laughs> and there you have this one. It's really nice. So this is my first time warming it. I had this little tiny tester and I said, I think I have a tester of that. So I dug this out and I finished it off. And it was pretty light on cold sniff, so let's see how it performed for me. So I took my tester and half a brick cube, I put it here in my bedroom. It was about four out of 10, and I left it going about one and a half days, but I must admit on the second day, I kind of started warming something else. I think I started warming pink haze in with it. So it was kind of like layering in the room. It was really nice. I decided to try it in two other spots. So I took another half a brick cube and put it in my daughter's room, and I took a full brick cube, cut it in half and put it in Drew's room. So Drew's room was very similar to mine, about four out of 10. I left it going a, a full day out of convenience, but it was probably more like a, maybe a 16 hour kind of scent if I'm lucky. In my daughter's room, the strength was at max about six out of 10. She has a moon over Jupiter and I find that kind of really kicks it out, but it really ran out of steam quickly in her room. I would say 10 to 12 hours and then I couldn't really smell it. But what I could smell was really, really enjoyable. This is kind of like a youthful version of a complex scent, but it's not so youthful that adults wouldn't enjoy it too. And this is what you call a conceptual scent because what does pixie smell like? I don't know. But think of that scent silhouette. It doesn't really smell like silhouette, but silhouette is very hard to describe. It's kind of an exotic background, light, gentle, pleasant fragrance. And this is what pixie is. So saying that, I would definitely stick to bedrooms if you ever get to experience this scent. And it's a very calm, kind of relaxing feel to the bedroom. And you could even put this in a child's nursery, I would say. I think it would do well because it's soft in nature, it's subtle, and it's just, it would work well there. Now, I, I do want to show you something. This brick is dry as a bone for being 10 years old, dry as a bone, and I would probably choose to warm the rest of this brick, maybe in September when the weather is cool, just a little bit cooler. Up here in my bedrooms, the, the house gets very hot up in the bedrooms. So I think it'll do a little bit better later as the temperatures start to dip. Would I repurchase this if given the chance? I definitely would. It's a unique scent, it's very intriguing, 
and I would like to see how a fresh bar performs. So that is Pixie. So let's talk about our second place scent for the week. It is Baked Apple Pie. This one had 17% of the vote. It's almost like a gentle caramel color. It's about a medium light, in my opinion, on cold sniff. And it's currently available. It's been available for years and years. And it's a bakery bestseller. So since he says flaky crust, apples and spices combined in a strong scent. So let's talk about the scent notes first and then we'll talk about combined in a strong scent. So flaky crust, this kind of reminds me of the flakiness that you would get from uh, red, white and berry pie because I get more of a vanilla creamy tone that mimics bakery. It doesn't really smell like a flaky crust to me and that's what I get and it's more on day two. So flaky crust, I don't know. Apples, yes, I, I would say gently simmered and a little bit of sugar, a little bit of syrupy sweet apples. Yum. <laughs> and not overly sweet, so that's good. Spices, there's definitely cinnamon in here, so if you don't like cinnamon, you might want to, you know, stay clear. It's a fair amount of it on, on the cold sniff, and actually towards the beginning, it does taper down as you go. It's a bit more than a bakery sweet cinnamon. It's almost like a little bit of the cinnamon stick smell. And it reminds me, I thought everybody, when I first joined Scentsy, I thought everybody loved the smell of cinnamon, because I did. <laughs> Actually, a lot of people don't like it. And I always wonder, do the people that don't like cinnamon scent, do you like the taste of cinnamon in products? Because there was a girl at my work and she baked a pie and I didn't eat any of the pie, but a lot of the staff was saying it was too much cinnamon. So I think she put some in the crust and the filling and they said it was too much, so interesting. Anyway, uh, overall, I would say this is a nice scent. Every uh, wax company should have a baked apple pie scent. But one thing about pie is I want it to be very noticeable. This was not overly noticeable to me. So my husband has a tendency to eat late at night because he actually goes to work way earlier than most people. Sometimes he's used to getting up. So sometimes I remember at one Christmas, my sister's mother-in-law, she baked a apple pie and she baked a lemon meringue pie. She left them in the fridge and he, he was eating them at night. <laughs> this kind of scent reminds me of my husband eating the pie in the middle of the night and then I can kind of still smell it a little bit in the morning. But I want this pie to smell like the pie is right in front of me. <laughs> so it's not as strong as I would like. So let's talk about this scent. In the past, when I've warmed this, it was between light and medium for me. I didn't get great performance, but I warmed up my open layout, so I thought I'll I'll give it another try, and I'll warm it in a couple other spots. So I have a brick here. Now I'm going to show you this brick. This brick is a sweaty mess. So look at that. Little pools of syrupy goodness up on the top there. So I put the equivalent of about six cubes in my open layout. Strength and throw at max was five out of ten. I, I let it go a full day, but it didn't, I couldn't smelt the full day. All right, so then I took half a brick cube and put it in Ryan's room. And it was about five out of 10 there, but it did better in terms of it lasted longer because his room is small and contained. So I left it going almost two and a half days there, not including the night warming. So I would say roughly maybe 30 hours I left it going in Ryan's room. The cinnamon did linger in his room after a while. Not as bad as the French toast maple linger, but it did linger. And I also took a full brick cube, cut it in half and put it in two warmers in Drew's room. So about half a brick cube in each of the two warmers. It did better in scent throw there, six out of 10. That is on the basement level and it's contained. So it did better and I removed it today. It was 48 hours, but really it really started losing steam around the 36 hour mark. It's something that when you're in the room, you can't smell it, but when you leave and come in, you can smell it a lot better. And sometimes you can smell it a little bit when you're in the room, but you almost have to look for it and I want the pie to be presented to me. So that's that's my personal opinion. Day two of this scent, one thing I would say in Drew's room is at the beginning of day two, it was also still about six out of 10. And then towards that supper time, it was maybe down to about three or four out of 10. So I think if you're someone that likes gentle apple pie scents, you might like this. And perhaps it's performed strongly for other people, but it just doesn't for me. I would say if you have a small kitchen, you could warm this there, an entranceway, small entranceway. If you like scents like this in an office that's not overly big, I think it would work really well. And I would say if there was a way for them to revamp this, like something like an apple crumble pie, 
and make it a little stronger, I'd be all for that. So will I be repurchasing this? Well, obviously I don't need to, but I think once I'm done with this scent, I'll probably take a little break from it and then maybe revisit it later. So that for me, a little bit of mixed results, but that is baked apple pie. All right, now we are moving to the portion of the video where I'm gonna draw some scents and you guys are gonna vote, you're gonna vote for two different scents by early Wednesday morning. The only difference is I'm gonna actually warm three scents, but do not vote for three, only vote for two. Now these are the new releases, plus I added the two brick scents in here. And actually, I think I didn't warm review Scary Good, but I just left that out because I wanted 12 cents. We'll actually do four weeks of Tester Tuesday and that will bring us just into the start of the new catalog. A couple weeks into it, but what can we do? Sorry, it's gonna be noisy. So I'm gonna randomly draw some testers and we'll see what we get. So scent number one is Blackberry Spice. Scent number two, Frosted Vanilla. Scent number three, Black Currant and Plum. Look at my little bag here. Scent number four, Fluffy Fleece. That's a brick scent that's returned. Scent number five, Velvet Moon. And scent number six is Huckleberry Hideaway. So looking down here, <laughs> there's a bit of a pattern. I'm just gonna show it to you. We have purple, blue, purple, blue, purple, blue. <laughs> Not quite, but there's a lot of blue and a lot of purple. We have three purple and three blue scents, so very interesting. So thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I can't wait to see what you guys vote for. Take care, and I will see you guys in the next video.